Hi, and welcome back to Epic Restorations. It's been a busy few months as we've been working our way through the engine, but the day has finally arrived. Today, we're going to attempt to start her up. A lot has gone into getting this puppy running, and we can't wait to hear it bark. We've been through the distributor, rebuilt and tested the carb, replaced plugs, wires, and so much more. And with any luck, this inline four will turn over for us today. We've got a few little things to wrap up before we attempt to fire it up. So without any further ado, let's get to the shop and let's get to work. A few weeks ago, we rebuilt our carburetor. We tested it out and it did great. Upon talking with David Renner at Renner's Corners Early Fords, he suggested that once we were satisfied with how it was performing, we should apply some gasket maker to the carb in addition to our new gaskets to help prevent any leaking. Okay, so we got the four screws. I'm just gonna snug it. Number two. Three. Four, now we'll go around and snug them. And as Dave Renner of Renner's Corners had said, this is the side when you break that the gas sloshes and leaks out. And this is the part that often warps. So you want to get that warpage taken care of. And then we'll seal this good. You only need to seal on the three sides here. And as you break, the gas flips up there. Coming the other way, it's not a problem because there's other extra gasket material in there. Snug again. There, and our carburetor, we'll just let, okay, we'll go, let's go over them out. I also put the, bo the bottom plug in, because we've used this float tool to tell us how deep the float bowl was getting, so we knew that we had to adjust the float. I hear the float still loose in there like you want it. Now we'll go put it on the car. Once the carb was back on the car, we turned our attention to the final obstacle in the way of starting the engine. 
the throttle control assembly. Upon our initial inspection, ours had been previously tampered with. It was all bent up and forced out of place. It was a wonder that it had even worked before. It needed to come off and needed to be corrected. your gas pedal. Two bolts connect the throttle to the firewall. The right one is pretty easy to remove, but the left one was a little more challenging. Persistence pays off though, and before long, we had it off and the assembly removed. Over at the bench, George used a vise, hammer, some oil, and a little bit of elbow grease to set the throttle back to normal. Now we can clean this up, so it has to be behind there. And that way, It's only got to move an inch and a quarter. FordGarage.com shows that there are about seven different variations of the throttle assembly produced between the beginning and the end of production, each with some slight modifications. I'll include a link to that information in the description of the video. We identified ours as the third variation produced between October of 1928 and June of 1929. With the throttle fixed and in place, it was time to fire up the car. We were thrilled to see her start right up. She huffed and puffed and heated up, smoking us out at first as it burnt up that old oil. After a few moments though, the air cleared and she was running like a champ. With the engine running, we've taken a huge step in the restoration process. Join us next time as we continue the journey restoring this classic Ford Model A on epic restorations.